Hey guys, I'm Angus and today we're doing an unboxing and a book haul because, I don't know, I'm a dumb bitch and I still do book hauls. <laughs> It's been like three years since I did a book haul. In those three years, um, I still have quite a lot of books, but I'm just gonna be book hauling and unboxing some recent books that I got. So we've got nine books to haul today and two packages to open. There's a bunch of nonfiction screenwriting books that I use for my work and also some YA books. So let's just get into it. First up, we're gonna be unboxing these packages. I know what's in them, but you know, I'm not gonna tell you. So we're gonna start with the small one first. Um, Let's see how we go. I didn't grab any scissors because these have like a pull tab thing. So hopefully it doesn't break. When I say it broke. First book we have is Heartstoppers by Alice Osman. This book I'm so excited to read. Um, it is a graphic novel, which is amazing. I haven't read a lot, but the ones that I have read, I really enjoyed. Um, it's so fast, quick, easy, like easy done. This book has been so popular on booktube recently. It's boy meets boy, boys become friends, and boys fall in love, which is what I'm all about. So really excited to read this one. That's all I really want to know about it. So I'm fine, that's all I know. I heard somewhere that it's being adapted into something, apparently. Um, I don't really know the details. The next package we have has two books in it, so let's just open it. This one has a pull tab as well, but I can bet you it's gonna break. <sighs> they just don't work. They've never worked, and they never will. I have two books in here. <gasps> so the first book we have in here is Heartstoppers Volume 2, because how could I stop at one? Um, this is obviously the second one. Um, I feel like we're gonna read both of these in like a day, like honestly. <laughs> uh, so I'm really excited to read these. And the second book we have is Red, White and Royal Blue by Casey McQuinston. Um, this book apparently um, is very spicy. Um, so I'm really excited to read it. It's about America's first son and Prince of Wales falling in love. Sounds already very enticing. I couldn't get this book in hardcover. Does it not exist in hardcover? No, I couldn't find it anywhere. Um, but I'm really excited to read this. Everyone on BookTube is loving it so much. Moving on to some books that I'm a bit late in getting. We have two Cassandra Clare books. The Clothbound Lord of Shadows. I got this way later than I should have. I got this a few months ago, actually. I've already read Lord of Shadows, of course. Um, I loved it, but I, I really wanted this nice cloth bound edition to go with my other one, which I have up here. Together! Wow! I have three copies of this book now, um, and it's not my fault, okay? I bought the paperback when it came out to read. Then um, Simon & Schuster sent me another paperback to read, which I didn't really need, but I was like, okay, thank you. Um, and then I bought this one, so three copies. Oops. And then we have The Red Scrolls of Magic by Cassandra Clare, which Simon & Schuster also sent me. This is a spin-off series about Magnus Bane and Alec Lightwood, which is another gay book. I should just call this the gay book haul. It's book one in the Eldest Curses series. Yeah, it's like a spin-off to the Mortal Instruments. Um, I don't know how many books there are gonna be, but I'm really excited to read this because again, another gay book. You can't have too many gay books. I'm not the biggest fan of this cover. It kind of just looks like fan art. I don't really like that. Um, I would like to get this book in hardcover at some point. Next up, um, one of my friends was throwing out a bunch of books and then we're gonna throw out these two books by J.K. Rowling, um, and I didn't have either, so I just took them. We have The Casual Vacancy by J.K. Rowling, which you all know, and then Very Good Lives, which is like a, this is like an essay, I think, or a speech by J.K. Rowling, but they're both hardcover, and we know how I feel about hardcovers, so. I don't see myself reading um, The Casual Vacancy. I've heard not great things about it. Apparently all the characters are really mean and horrible. Just in case I ever get there, this will be probably towards the end of my TBR, so. We'll keep it there. And next up we have, this might be boring to you, but we have four books about screenwriting. So we're gonna get into it. The first two are Making Movies by Sidney LeMay, The Dramatic Writer's Companion by Will Dunn. These two books are like the foundations of making movies. I've read this one, amazing, in the process of reading this one. This is more of like a, just a general overview of the filmmaking process. It's a bit dated, but it's great for some insight and it really gives you some confidence in your production skills because working in the screen industry is tough. This one, really good toolkit for writing, get on it. And next, we have The Craft of Scene Writing by Jim Mercurio. M Mercurio. And then finally, because I am developing a kids TV show at the moment, I got Creativity, Culture and Commerce, Producing Australian Children's TV with Public Value. What a boring title, I know. <laughs> but yeah, this book is very, very useful um, if you're working in kids TV. Like it gives you some great pointers 
um, which I doubt anyone watching does, so we're just gonna move on. And the final book we're holding today, which I forgot to bring out with the other Cassandra Clare books, Queen of Air and Darkness by Cassandra Clare, which I still haven't finished. And I just got so busy. <sighs> It's good so far. Um, I got this one also from Simon & Schuster, so thank you Simon & Schuster for sending me all this free stuff. I really appreciate it and I will finish this book. <sighs> this brick, should I say, this brick. 900 pages. Ridiculous. So that's all the books I have to haul today. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I said 9, but there's 11. I lied. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't even know if book hauls are relevant anymore, but I'm just gonna do it because it was fun. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time in a new video. I'm just gonna go now before these fall on me. Goodbye. <laughs> 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 <laughs>